Hi nerds, hi yogis, Carlene Rose here, and welcome to a Nerdy Yogi YouTube channel. Uh, today we are doing an intro to warrior flow, so we'll do a slow flow introducing the three main warrior poses. To start though, let's come to an easy seat. We'll do an easy ankle to knee pose, um, also known as double pigeon. Uh, don't have to worry about knees, you know, being flat against the ankles or anything like that. You just want them stacked so you have good alignment. You can have space here. We're not gonna press down or anything, just letting gravity do the work to start opening up our legs as we start tapping into our breath. So we're gonna start activating our Mula Bandha breath here. So inhaling to your low core belly, expanding in a 360 direction and exhale as you squeeze everything in and out, exhaling through your nose. Inhale, exhale. Very nice, continuing that inhale and exhale as we move. So you're just gonna inhale, extend your arms up, exhale, hands come to heart center and namaste or Anjali Mudra, and we'll just twist to the right. Inhale, lift up, exhale, squeezing all of the air in and out as you twist to the left. Inhale, doing some slow twisting movements here. Again, letting gravity do the work for our legs as we start to warm up our spine, our core muscles. Very nice. Last time here, exhale, spinning towards the left. This time we're going to hold it. And from here, maintaining the twist, using your core strength, see if you can just press your hands down towards the earth. You can rest your right arm on the inside of your uh, right foot, extending tall through the crown of your spine. And if you want to take even more of a challenge here, you can take this twist a little bit deeper and either just bring your forearm or your upper arm to the inside of your foot, really making sure you're grounding down through your right hip. You don't want that lifting off the ground. So as long as you can maintain that, you can take the twist a little bit deeper, getting a longer stretch here on the uh, right side body. And if you're ready for even more of a challenge, you can even take that Namaste Anjali Mudra here. It's really grounding your elbow or upper arm into the foot, hands come to center, and really twisting, extending long through the, the crown of your head. So now we've got a big twist here, so work, work your way up to this. Maintain that Mula Bandha breath, gently releasing that, staying low, and walking over to the right now. We'll do just a quick counter stretch. So inhale, wave the spine long, exhale, folding. And this time, of course, grounding with the left hip. You want to always keep your, your hips grounded into the earth here. Back to center and rolling up. And switch sides. So coming back to that ankle to knee position, ankles and knees are stacked comfortably. Again, letting gravity do the work here. We're not gonna press our knees down. Extending tall through the crown, getting back into that Mula Bandha breath. Might have, you know, lost track of it a little bit while we moved, that happens sometimes. So inhaling to your low belly and exhale, squeezing everything in and up. Inhale here. Exhale, big victorious sound as you exhale out your nose. And inhale, start adding that movement. So inhaling, exhale, this time twist to the left. Inhale up, hands come to heart center first and then twist. We really want the twist to come from our core strength, from our oblique muscles, really warming up our spine. Great way to warm up and activate the body, getting it ready. Exhale, this time holding it to the right, extending long through the crown of your head as you prepare for this bit deeper uh, twist. So you can, again, just place fingertips on the ground, and maybe that's where you stay. You can extend long through the crown of your head, making sure that your spine 
isn't rounding or hunched, anything like that, reaching tall. Or if you want to take it a little farther, you can maybe walk to the inside of your forearm, taking the stretch a little bit deeper that way, even elbow or upper arm. And again, if you're ready for that super adventure twisting challenge, you can take your hands to Namaste, actually ground into your foot with your upper arm and extending along through the crown of your head again, maintaining that length in your spine as your hands come together in your Namaste Mudra. Wherever you are, holding that pose for a couple of Mula Bandha breaths. And then gently releasing that and staying a little low as you wave forward, walking towards the other side for that quick counter pose. Inhaling here, waving your spine and exhale. Take a nice counter stretch, coming back to center and wave yourself long. One more reach up and exhale. Inhale, hands come to heart center. Very nice, now that we've warmed up a bit, let's get into our warrior poses. So come on to hands and knees here. We'll start with hands and knees, like round into the earth with your fingertips, strong palms as you exhale, pressing back into your downward facing dog. Start to pedal out your feet, warming up the backs of our legs now. Getting ready for the more uh, vinyasa flow to come. We'll start by just doing some waves. So inhale, coming onto your toes, bending knees and elbows, get really deep bends so that you can wave yourself forward into plank. Long spine here, of course, coming onto your knees. That'll help create healthy alignment as you lower towards the earth. Hips hit first, inhale here, prepare. Roll yourself up to a cobra. That could be enough for you, or you come to a little bit higher cobra. Just starting to warm up Again, your back and your spine muscles more. And exhale, you can come through pointed plank like this to get back into down dog or onto your knees and then press back and pedal up the feet again. We'll do that a couple more times. Inhaling onto your toes, we're getting a bit of a stretch in our feet as we do that. Bending knees and elbows to wave yourself forward to plank. Come onto your knees. Lower through your chaturanga. Inhale here, prepare. Waving in and up to whatever cobra level is best for you today. And exhale. Lifting in and out through your low belly. Back to your down dog as you pedal out your feet. And one last time, inhaling onto your toes. Exhale, bending knees and elbows, waving yourself forward. Very nice, coming onto your knees, lowering through your chaturanga. Inhale here, prepare, weaving in and up. And exhale, back to down dog. Very nice. So we've got all of that energy moved through our body. From here, you can just tiny wave in the spine. That'll help create space for your neck and shoulders. And then let gravity do the work, pulling your heels towards the ground. Can press back a little bit from your hands to create space, but again, you don't want to overstretch here. Let gravity do its thing for you. Now, from here, we are going to take a bend in knees and elbows so that we can uh, get ready to do some movement here into our warriors. We're going to inhale the right leg lifts, exhale really. Deep bend in the knees and elbows to create space to lift your knee in and up into core plank one. And just holding it there for a moment and then step your right foot towards your right thumb. Now we have our uh, feet and hips in good alignment as you bend your back knee, rolling yourself in and up, coming into a high lunge position. Very nice. Now, first warrior, warrior one, you're just gonna take your back foot and ground your foot naturally. So you want natural uh, angle in alignment with the foot, knees and toes in line here, bending towards, the goal is towards a 90 degree uh, in, the, 
in the right leg. You can be up here if that's better for you. If you're working towards that deeper pose, that's absolutely fine. The one thing I want you to keep in mind is keeping your hips at that diagonal angle. You don't want your hips twisted towards the front like we had in that high lunge. So keep your hips at the nice open angle or partially open angle and twist just from the ribs, just from the obliques. Inhale, arms reach up. And here we are in warrior one. Inhale, arms extend and exhale. Bring hands to heart center and uh, your namaste, Anjali Mudra. And just hold this for a couple of breaths. Very nice. From here, inhale, extend everything. Now I want you to face forward in your mat. We're going to get into warrior two in kind of a unique way so you can see how to build the pose. So exhale, folding forward, really deep bend in your knees. You can even do some ninja warrior lunges here, starting to stretch your inner thighs. And now building this pose from the ground up, you're going to ground it to the earth. Front toes, right toes are going to face forward again. You have your back foot. Get at a natural angle. You can even lift up your back leg, kind of shake it out. See where it feels comfortable. You want knees and toes in line. This time, instead of your toes facing more forward, they'll be a little bit more parallel to the mat. Really deep bend in your knees here. Get your hips centered and stack your spine and your shoulders over your hips. Inhale here. Now exhale. Tail, here's where we finish the pose coming into warrior two. So kind of a neat way to get into it. And now you have good alignment and your shoulders aren't, you know, one way or the other, anything like that. You're stacked nice and centered. And your hips are fully open in warrior two to the side. Very nice. Inhaling up again and exhale. Inhale, hands are going to come to heart center. This time we're going to transition facing forward, so coming up off of your back knee. Last warrior challenge here, warrior three. So inhale, reach up. Exhale, get close to the earth. We're going to bend everything here and step your left foot towards your right leg. Now from here, you can keep your hands on, on fingertips just like this. You can use a wall, you can use blocks, a chair, whatever you need to create balance in this pose, but warrior three is a balancing position. So from here, you're going to extend your top leg, really pressing out through your left heel, flex foot almost as if you're trying to stand against the wall. And then from here again, you can keep your right knee kind of bent in this preparation position. Or if you want, you can try to lift and balance, really lifting up through the back of your skull, long spine, hands come to heart center, in your namaste mudra hold that for a couple of breaths and exhale bring everything back down towards the earth strong fingertips step back into your plank onto your knees lower through chaturanga inhale here prepare waiting in and up and exhale back to down dog Whew, very nice pedal out your feet Notice the difference that you've made already. And of course we have two sides. So we'll try that whole thing with our left leg. First though, let's uh, do a vinyasa to kind of move that energy through our body. So inhale onto your toes, bending knees and elbows, waving forward, coming onto your knees through your chaturanga. Inhale here, prepare, waving in and up and exhale. Back to down dog. All right, very nice. Ready for the left side? <laughs> so from here, bend in your knees and elbows, really grounding into the earth with strong palms. Left leg lifts, exhale. Knee comes to chest, really lifting in and up, creating a lot of space. And exhale, stepping the left foot forward. Inhale here, prepare long spine, bending your back knee, waving yourself in and up, coming to the high lunge position first. Inhale here, settle into that pose. Remember to use the Mula Bandha breath as we're doing this. And from here, grounding your back heel naturally onto the earth, a little bit of an angle forward in line with your knee. Hips are 
opening towards kind of the corner of your mat, the top corner of your mat. And from here, twisting just your upper body, just your chest and shoulders forward. And exhale, hands come to heart center in your Namaste Anjali Mudra. Settling into that warrior one. And then from here, lifting out of that pose and coming into kind of our temple here. And again, building the pose from the ground up. So getting real low towards the earth. And then from here, left toes face forward onto your mat. We're going, we're aiming for that 90 degree angle again with our left leg. You can work towards that by staying higher up to start with. But natural, comfortable ground position for your right foot. Again, in line, toes in line with the, with the knee. Centered in your hips. Exhale, waving, stacking your vertebrae. Inhaling here, and exhale, coming into warrior two. That's when you extend your right leg and bend into your left knee after you have your hips and spine and shoulders aligned. Hips are open to the side of your mat now. Settle into this pose for just one more breath. And then inhale, reach up. Exhale, hands to your heart center. Now from here, our super fun balance challenge, coming off of your back foot, taking a moment in your high lunge. Exhale, finger trips out wide in front of you. Bring your right knee into your chest. Now start with the bent left leg. We want to make sure that we have that proper alignment first before we extend our legs. So hips are, are stacked, spine is long, reaching through the crown of your head. Then start to extend the top leg. See where that extends first, really pressing like you're pressing against the wall. And then from here, again, you can use chair, block, wall, whatever you need for balance. You can stay here or you can try lifting in and up, really lifting up through your low spine, the front of your low belly, lifting up through the back of your skull, coming into your warrior three. Holding it for one more breath and then exhale. Everything comes back to the earth, stepping back into your plank, onto your knees, Lower through Chaturanga, inhale here, prepare. Waving in and up, and exhale. Back to down dog, very nice. Not easy, but a good way to learn about the warrior poses. All right, we'll do one more vinyasa here to kind of sync the movement and energy in our body. So coming onto our toes, bending knees and elbows, waving forward, coming onto our knees, lowering through Chaturanga. Inhale here, prepare, rolling in and up. And exhale, this time pressing back into a child's pose for a moment. You can rock your hips back and forth. And then from here, uh, walking yourself back into your Shavasana. So however you want to get there, coming onto your back, onto the earth. I always like to windshield wiper my legs to end uh, a yoga class or yoga practice. Such a great way to reset your sacrum and your spine, low back. Now, if you have any final stretches you'd like to take, uh, feel free to hit pause, do that now. Otherwise, when you are ready, extend your feet out long, coming into your final resting pose, your Shavasana. Coming to fully relax here, settling into kind of your new, your new normal, your new warrior self that you just cultivated in that quick practice. I hope you enjoyed that flow. Definitely look forward to seeing you again on the mat next time. Make sure you are subscribed to the YouTube channel so you get notifications when the new videos go up. Uh, also make sure that you are 
on the League of Nerd Yogi email list. I have exclusive content for you there. Uh, link is in the description below, so be sure to check it out, and I will see you next time. Namaste.